This is Joe with Joe's Astrophoto.com. Today we're going to start a new series on the Bear Claw Observatory. That's what I call my astronomy shed. It just sounds so much better. So in the first installment of this series, I'm going to talk about the pier. The reason I want to start with the pier is because anybody is capable of building a pier in their backyard or their garden without having to actually construct an entire observatory or astronomy shed around it. Uh, you can use uh, the pier and hook up your mount to it and then cover the mount with uh, something like a gizmodo cover or some other type of cover that's waterproof and use that. And the reason that you want to do that is because you don't have to continuously do a polar alignment every time you go out, and that saves you time. I use sono tubes uh, at 12 inches in diameter to create the pier itself. The sono tubes come in four foot length sections, so what I did was is I put two of them together. I put some uh, wire through them and made a seven foot long tube. After I augured out a four foot hole in the ground, I set the tube in there and made sure it was level. And I used uh, some two by fours and, and rocks and whatever I could to make sure that the tube was as level as possible. And then I filled it up with concrete. The pier itself is not touching the observatory at all. It, the observatory was built completely around the pier from the ground up. The pier is uh, four foot below the earth's surface and three foot above. The reason it's four foot deep is because the R frost level here is 38 inches. So in order to get it below the frost level, uh, the I decided to go four feet. I have J bolts inserted into the concrete. Right before it dried, I made a jig out of wood and I inserted the J bolts in and it was flat up against the sono tube. This allowed the J bolts to remain vertical and not lean one way or another. So the J bolts are 5 eighths inch and they go screwed into a 3 16 inch steel plate. And from there I've got four 3 8 inch bolts going into another uh, 3 16 inch plate and also into the, the mount bracket. The mount bracket is a repurposed 2012 Chevy Malibu rear drum brake. I found this on the internet and the hole in the center is perfect for uh, the EQ6R. The polar alignment bolt I needed to drill a hole for and then I used a 5 16 inch bolt for that. In order to drill through the steel plates and the steel drum, you need to get um, a titanium bit. The, I couldn't find a titanium bit for the 5 8 inch, so I ended up using a carbide drill bit. And I needed to use a lot of oil, and it took a long time just to get through 3 16 of an inch. I had much to complain about, and I was going to do a pros and cons of, of a concrete pier, and I really can't find any at the moment uh, cons the it's been rock solid of course because it's made out of concrete i should say it's been concrete solid and the only problem i seem to have is with um the back altitude uh knob when i'm polar aligning i'm always sitting this right here but it wouldn't have mattered if this was concrete or not but it does get in the way the other thing about the pier is that because it's so um, deep into the ground, and I guess they're all going to do this, but this particular one, I need to polar align about 
once every uh, two to three months because it acts as a reverse pendulum and over the course of 12 weeks um, it is moved off of the polar alignment by a good one degree. I mainly decided to go with con a concrete pier as opposed to a steel pier or aluminum pier because of cost. The steel pier was going to cost over a thousand dollars to build one and roughly the same amount to have someone build one and ship it here. Plus the weight and I'd still need to pour the concrete anyway as base and I just decided let's go all the way up with it and it's all concrete. The uh, disadvantage to this is that if I decided to move later in the future I would have to cut the pier off and I wouldn't have one to take with me. I've also noticed that a lot of people have issues with resonance in their metal piers. Not everyone, but if you're in a seismic area uh, or if the ground shifts a lot in your area, then people end up filling up their, their metal pier with concrete anyway. So why have the concrete around it other than looks? I'm hoping that I can paint this soon to match the rest of the mount as well. If you like this kind of content, please leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.